Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're having a quick look at the CSS property text fill color. Uh, this allows us to change the text fill color, which is quite cool. Um, we can do this because text on the web is vector based. Uh, you can see that here and I've got some big text here, still very nice and smooth and good looking, even though it's 100 PXs, no matter what size it is, because it's vector based, it's going to look smooth. And that also means we can fill in as well. All right. So, um, so I've just got this H1 yeah, um, text fill demo and I've got this class on it where we can make our change. So we can use the property. Uh, it's prefixed by WebKit, uh, and that same prefix across all the browsers will work. So you don't need to use the other browser prefixes. We can do WebKit uh, text fill color, and I could set that to transparent, and that would mean it would disappear, which is not exactly great, but We'll move on from that. We'll add to that. We can add a uh, web kit text stroke and we could say thin and give that a value. And then that does the outside of the text. So our, in our fill color is transparent at the moment. And then our text stroke um, gives us that outline. So you can remove it like that. And then we could do um, something like um, a CSS pseudo class and specify in here uh, web kit text fill color again and set that to um, a different color and then when I hover over it's then going to add that color in there um, so it's got pretty good support across the browsers some of the mobile browsers it's not available in so you just need to be careful quite where you're using it but pretty good coverage check can i use.com that's the place to go if you want to know whether you can use these things but there it is text fill color hope that's enjoyable give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumb down if not don't forget to click that subscribe button below change the little icon to all i'll catch you next time thanks bye